You're listening to Plus Size Divas with Deanna and Carmen. Every worthy, unique, beautiful body out there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Carmen Renee, aka Eat the Cake Two. I am Deanna at Deanna Bomb Chica, and together, together we, we are the, the Plus Size, size Divas. divas. <laughs> it's another <laughs> Tuesday. We're so thankful that you are here with us. If you are not following us on all social media platforms, please do so. We are on Twitter and Instagram at Two Plus Size Divas, and we are on Facebook at The Plus Size Divas, and on YouTube at The Plus Size Divas. If you missed anything, go subscribe. Make sure you're catching up. All shows are archived, people. <laughs> and before we really get started, if you need the call in number, it should be behind us. Otherwise, it is 818. 818- Five seven zero five zero eight five five seven zero five zero eight five. You guys call in, call in, call in, call in, call in. <laughs> Do you think you should call in? Probably. Um, listen, our show would not be made possible without our incredible, incredible, wonderful sponsors. By the way, we're looking for a sponsor for the month of September. You can do weekly, you can do monthly. So get at us if you want to do that. But Please. this week, um, shout out to awesome, awesome, awesome music artist Layla Jade Official. Follow her on Twitter and Insta at Layla Jade Official. That's she actually, has two amazing yeah, singles right now on Spotify and Apple Music. Go check her out. Follow her, support her, and we really appreciate you, Layla. And we'll be playing one of our songs on the way out of the show today. Yay. But in the meantime, in the meantime, let's get to it. We're super excited for our guest this week. He is, first of all, just amazing. And I body, know we say that every no, week, though. No, but he actually <laughs> like really is another really male guest, which we're so excited for. But Troy Solomon, body positive enthusiast, fashion icon i'm oh, already gonna size say it. Model. plus size model like yes. style guru everything everything rocking Troy. it for all the bears out there yes yes thank you guys so much i'm for envious of me. your style so thank yes. you for you being can here. have all my clothes okay you have to come up right now okay perfect <laughs> Switch outfits. this is like not even like a can you actually one. show everybody the back of your jacket yeah what does it say feminist well that's a high back chair oh. help us out here troy feminist <laughs> af is he amazing or what feminist as fuck i love it prem i love it Okay, Troy, introduce yourself. Tell the people where they can find you. You can find me literally everywhere at a bear named Troy. I'm like landed. everywhere. Uh, yeah, I kept landed. it pretty like across the board. I Everything is a bear named Troy. I think it's just easier that way. And now for the people out there, because oh I know gosh, like why my mom. just give us like the sexiest eyes ever? <laughs> did you do that got, on purpose? Because he's got those Troy? hot glasses on. It was like Maybe. a very sultry like. Listen. Maybe. There are people out there that don't understand the whole bear thing. Yeah. Um, so for the people like my mom's watching, my I mean, mom's yeah. like, what the hell's a bear? <gasps> Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Mm. Um, uh, explain in the gay community what yeah. bear means. What is that? What is that? Whole so thing? there's different like subcategories of gay people in the gay community. <laughs> categories. Um, subcategories. I love it. Yeah. So there's like the twinks, which are like skinny guys. And then there's the jocks, which are the muscly ones. Then there's the cubs, which are young, oh like God, hairy, so thicker guys. And then there's bears who are like it's like the high older, school, thicker. exactly. <laughs> it's high school, and exactly. bears who are like the older, the thicker. older. I mean, like the thing is, I don't really know the line. I was gonna say, you're I don't really know. Twenty nine is that old? Though. Yeah, really you're know. kind of a cub, dude. I know. I you don't could really be a cub, know. a cub named Troy. Okay. All right. Rebranding. Here Rebranding. we go. Change everything. But that was smart because everything. you could always be a bear. Like, right. Forever. Yeah. Yeah. And I also, like, when I did it, that was the intention. But now that I've, like, I've gotten so far from that, I feel like it's become... Uh, people have said to me, like, I didn't even think of bear as, like, a gay thing. I just thought of it as, like, oh, you're, like, a cuddly bear. I'm yeah. like, yeah, okay, cute. Okay. Then we're going to stick to it. It's cute either oh, way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it started Here I off am with being, that. you know. No, no, it started you know? off as that because that was before I even had, like, an idea of a brand. I just was like, I want to change my Instagram handle. What's it going to be? I don't want to yeah. use Troy Matthew anymore. So I yeah. was like, well, there, there thank you. you. It works. We love it. And it's Thanks. definitely catchy. We love it. Well, we're, we have a topic that we want to like totally dig in with. Like 12. 12. You. Yeah, we have like 12. Okay. But we have a couple <clears throat> segments we're going to get to and then we will get there. Cute. So right now it's time for gossip. Oh, yes. Um, and yes. that is the time that we, um, you know, give you t- some details on what's happening in Hollywood worldwide or whatever. <laughs> 
VMAs last night, people were on J Lo wins video vanguard. Mm. I mean, give me a break. She's had like a mm. 90 year career and looks 25. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I just want to shout out, you know, we're really big on this show about like never ever doing the whole body goals thing. But let me just tell you something. <laughs> the bitch be 49 years old and I have never in my day and probably never will look that damn good. Uh, she looks amazing. I yeah. just, she's absolutely, absolutely flawless. Yeah. Dances her ass off. It's just, that's she's, it. She's a year away from 50. She's so much energy. That's I'm what just it like, is. Yeah. are you so kidding me? Energy. It's it's really, but even even more so, um, for me, I, I was telling you guys before the show started that for me, even more so, I think JLo's abs were <laughs> like, wait a minute, when she saw Tayana Taylor's, because she walked, walked the red carpet, and I'm not even kidding, like her abs like were like waving to the paparazzi. Yeah. That yeah, one. Her abs are. But her that is pure jeans. Her body yeah. is. I mean, she, she works out. She works out sick. a lot. She has For workout sure. video. I mean, she has a whole workout program. Yeah. She's you guys like, saw that Kanye West video obviously. she was in, right? Oh, I mean, it's God. like. She was like what I, you know, got off to for like three months. Yeah, Oy exactly. Vey. Same. Same. TM friggin' I over here. No. But but no, she's she's stunning. But the VMAs were fun. And then today, or like last night, I guess, Post Malone gets on a plane oh and gosh. takes off from Newark Airport. Yes. And they had to do an emergency landing. No. I don't know if he took off from Newark or took off from New York, but either way, yeah, emergency, emergency landing. Yeah. Oh, no. Because the, the plane blew tire, so shout out to Post Malone and being okay. And Jeez. that, I mean, he won a huge award last yeah. night, too, and that would have been all bad. Wait, you I want to talk about something while we're on the VMAs, just what? very quickly, because I think everyone has mixed feelings about the Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. Like, apparently, like, their feud, they their have a feud? Is, re in, it is re-sparked, and I'm like... Why can't just two female rappers just get along and not? Because that beef? wouldn't be interesting. It's well, so frustrating. I watched a little bit of what was going on like a couple of days ago, and it was like Nicki did an interview where she was saying how like she doesn't have a big, she doesn't need a big record label to push her. Like she can just like bring numbers in that like no one else can do. And I'm kind right. of like, she's not wrong. Like I mean, Cardi B is huge. Cardi B is also so new, right? So it's like I don't even know if like Nicki Minaj was like pointing that at Cardi B as much as like it was. Well, and she had beef with like Travis that. Scott too because I don't oh, know God. if you heard. So Cardi or Nicki? Nicki. So Travis Scott had posted, "Oh, I have the number one album," and Nicki was like, "Actually, you don't." <laughs> and then Kylie was like, Kylie posted, um, "Oh, Kylie's get like, your tour tickets. Me and Stormy will be at every show, basically. You know, like pimping him out. It's basically and his Kim sales like shot up." So I get what Nikki. But you saying. know what Aretha Franklin did? She died and smoked them all. You know what she did? She died and Madonna made her speech about Madonna. Right. Oh my God. No one told Madonna that Madonna didn't die. But like it was Aretha. What the who, hell who was that? Tell, it was who so gave weird. that to Madonna though? Like I loved that story. I thought it was so cool, but I was like, um, I hate what? when people make things. Yeah. Yeah. It's like why'd you it do that? It was bizarre. It didn't I make don't any know. sense. But, was, the time was so minimal. But, it was weird. But let me tell you why there's beef between two female rappers. These two females. Because there's only two female rappers no. <laughs> like in existence it's right true. now. But it just goes like like no two females can like be friends or not just have so issues. It's just feeds into every freaking trope about females there is. Yeah. I fell into a wormhole with that watching the beef between Nikki and Kim, Lil Kim because I was like, mm. here we are. Where I fell into the wormhole. <laughs> I don't have. I'm more now. interested in the Kim and uh, what's that? What's that guy's name? Oh God, Kim Kardashian was beefing with what's his face, black model. Um, Tyrese. Oh, uh, Ta Tyson. Tyson. Tyson Beckford. Beckford. And she basically like like low key called him gay. Yeah. Yeah. She, well, yeah. She everyone did. thinks he's. But gay. here's my thing. Like with that, he came for her as a man came for a woman about her looks about her body about her appearance insulting her it wasn't like it was subtle or shady he yeah, straight he up he straight up was like in all honesty she, don't love he her body that. she had a bad doctor bad work done whatever yeah, he said he did. and then she was like okay well you know you're not looking at me anyway sweetie Ooh. with like a little frog in the tea and i was like you know what if you come for someone about yeah. their looks mm, about yeah. their body about anything mm. like that then i mean all bets are off like, uh, thank you like, and, and i agree because people like jumped on her like yeah. oh you're a homophobe and it's like no, no. She's, she's calling like First she's, of all, how she's, would that she's acknowledging anyway no it's not homophobic she's she's acknowledging the pink elephant in the room everybody yeah. Hello. Okay. So on to more positive subjects. <laughs> Segment. Be positive. Let's okay, just I move on here, shall we? I have two things today. Because we really, the first we really one talk is to you. Lindsay. If you're watching, which I know you will watch eventually, thank you so much. That's my cousin. Mm -hmm. She's a new mom. She sent me this she is amazing. And she watches us every week. And she sent this to me. Um, she said, you are allowed to be both a masterpiece and a work in progress at the same time. Oh, yes. Which goes perfectly in line with our masterpiece challenge, which Troy. Wilt partake in. Wilt sure. partake in. Do you know what that is? No. 
Explain. So you post where we're encouraging people to get a little bit vulnerable. You know, I know like you're very, you know, comfortable with your body, but something yeah. that's maybe a little uncomfortable and post the picture, you know, hashtag masterpiece challenge, tag us and why you're a masterpiece. Cool. And then tag two people and challenge, challenge them. them. Love it. Yeah. To do it. Because we really want the, the firestorm to kind of brew of yeah. like people claiming that. Yeah. And yeah. it's interesting. I just want to talk about that quote really quickly because I've gotten a little bit of backlash when I'm like, I am a masterpiece and it's taken me a long time to get there. And people being like, mm, kind of conceited, like kind of, mm. and I'm like, what? no, not at all actually. No. Like, you know, masterpieces. Listen, the <laughs> only time being cocky or conceited is a bad thing is when you use that and treat other people badly. Yeah. Thank you. That's the only time it's a bad thing. Thank like you. it doesn't matter. I mean, you can call me cocky, confident, conceited, whatever you want, but I'm not treating people like shit, can yeah. I curse? Yes. yes. Like shit. Yes. So that's but you have to understand there's a wall of people out there that are like, you have stretch marks and you have this and you have this. How are you a masterpiece? Okay. And it's like, wait, what? Like, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I you mean, know what I mean? Like, you know, so you I. You get to decide what a masterpiece is. Exactly. No one else. So it doesn't matter. You. And that's why I love this because I feel like I love this and it really, she sent this to me and I was like, oh my God. And immediately put it on it my was story. Perfect. She, she was because I feel like I'm doing that. Like, yeah. I feel like I'm claiming that I'm a masterpiece, but at the same time, I'm the work. Yeah. I'm and working. then my second one, because this is for Troy for his <laughs> birthday. Happy belated birthday, by the way. Thank you. Yes. And he posted a picture and says 29 is the year of the nipple. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking love him. He's well, always in mesh shirts, I by the yeah, way. Yeah, I posted three <laughs> photos in a row with my nipple like showing. So I was like, all right, I got to address this at some point. Like everyone has to know that I know what's going on here. Oh so I had to get on my soapbox a little bit and I have another quote. Okay, yes. hit it. What is or it? Or whatever. It says, can you believe that there are legal nipples and then there are illegal nipples? I'm on a soapbox. Troy no. and I talked about this a little okay, bit. Okay, so you're talking illegal being breastfeeding? Like what? No, like just, no, just in general. Like yeah. why can you know a man's nipples are yeah. nipples? First of all, mm -hmm. ours are way more important because we give yep. life. We give. And life. what's so funny yeah. is like but with yeah, what I do them. on like in my posts and my Instagram is like I'm hardcore fucking with gender norms. Like it's yes. like a hard mm -hmm. like it's obvious. I make yeah. that very apparent. Like I'm wearing pink. I'm wearing high waisted pants. I'm wearing heels. I'm wearing makeup. I'm all these different things. Whatever I'm doing in the post. So it's right. kind of like. So funny that like I don't I identify as male I'm cisgender like I identify that way I understand that but it's like so funny that like all that differentiates me from you is the fact like is really the fact that I don't say that I'm a woman yeah it's like it's so bizarre to me because it's like or not in, not all across the board but in, in this in the, yeah, yeah yeah in these yeah. instances like according to Instagram like the only difference is like I checked male when I signed up on my profile rather than female mm -hmm. and that's why they can police like right because we police. have men who you know who choose to dress with bras and dre right. and whatever but then at the end of the day if they want to take their bra off and have their nipples out they can't it's just such a silly thing so we weird. talked about i to always talk about the danger of it that huh. we're so over censored we're just continuing we have a caller <gasps> who's calling hold that hold that over censored thought though yeah hi thank you for calling the plus size divas who's calling uh dakota hey dakota hi, how dakota. are you Good, how are you? Wonderful. Did you call in to talk to Troy? I feel like he knows you. He's smiling. Oh, no, I was actually calling to talk to Deanna real quick. Oh, oh hell yeah. Oh, Deanna. Oh, well, Hi, Dakota. Well, well damn. <laughs> I, am I in trouble? Hi. No, no, Deanna, you're not in trouble. Okay. Um, I usually am. So it sounds I like the principal to, calling to, to call real quick because um, I heard you guys talking about I'm a masterpiece. Yes. Um, and I know whenever that was coming out in the beginning. Um, me and you talked a lot because of what I've been going through with Memphis. Oh my um, God, it's my friend Dakota. Hi, Dakota. Yes. Oh, why do you just said that? Like, girl, it's Dakota. Okay. Hi, baby. Yes. <laughs> so um, tomorrow he starts kindergarten, and I am an absolute complete wreck. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, is tonight I was actually listening to that song trying to help me get through it. Oh, you guys. So that's you, her song, the masterpiece. Masterpiece, yeah. yeah. You guys, um, the person on the phone right now, you guys out here don't know him and you guys don't know him, but when I tell you, probably like the most amazing, most inspiring soul I've mm -hmm. ever met and selfless. Um, is it okay if I share your story a little, Dakota, or not really? Yeah, absolutely. So his sister is um, unfortunately a very, very bad addict, mm -hmm. and she had this child, and he is adorable, um, named Memphis, and he was how old, and uh, you got him, Dakota? Uh, Memphis was about a one and a half. About one and a half. Wow. He's now five. Dakota himself is how old, Dakota? 
27. Tw- now 27. So wow. he got him literally when he was 23. Wow. And has raised him on his own. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, Dakota, you're incredible. Listen to me. Don't be a wreck. This kid is so lucky to have you in his life. I am so happy to be in your life and be like the tiniest little source of inspiration for you. And we have, I mean, we've met once. Um, when I was on America's Got Talent, he came and came to a show and came backstage and met me, but we've stayed friends and been supportive to each other. I did a GoFundMe for for him when he was trying to fight for legal rights at Dakota and there was just all this hubbub and he finally got, like, this is his son now. And, um, you know, we've always been supportive and I just have to tell you, this little boy is so lucky to have you and you are Mm -hmm. such a wonderful, um, incredible, like, he is so lucky to have you as a dad. So don't cry. And if you cry, you call me. Okay, okay. Argentina, I love you. You can cry. You can cry. cry. Don't cry because, let me tell you, he's going to make friends and, like, you're going to have that whole thing and you're going to have to handle play dates and you're going to be calling me, like, bitching about that. I can't wait. (laughs) And the biggest thing, too, is don't sweat the small stuff. Right. I know that, I mean, I don't know your story completely, but coming from a very, not similar, but in some ways similar background, like, now looking back on it, He's gonna look at you and be like, "You took him in when he." It's, yes. it's the boy, right? Yeah, he yep. took you took him in when he had no one. So it's really gonna be like you can, don't put too much pressure on yourself all the time. Yes, you know to to do everything right because yes. it's not that's just not how it and, works. And you and you form. and you give him and you give him those self love tools because he's yes, gonna get. Please. Why don't you have a mom? Why is your dad gay? He's gonna get yeah. all of that, Dakota. So you tell you tell you yeah. sit him down right now and tell him he is love. He is a masterpiece because those kids are cruel, man. And you make sure that he he's got that yeah. he's got that invisible armor on because he's gonna need it. You know he's gonna need it in his situation. He's gonna get. You know, picked well, on for all types situ- of every things. Every kid. Yeah, you know? every. Um, and I hope yeah. he doesn't. But, you know, just be ready for that. But I absolutely love you. And thank you so much for calling in to us. No worries. You guys, thank you. Okay, Bye. baby. Bye, Dakota. Bye. <laughs> what a great. Bye, I love you. Bye, I love you too, honey. No, let me. So y'all don't even sweet. know. Y'all don't even <sighs> know how special that kid is. Like, really, like, I, I can't. I couldn't even imagine at 25 mm. taking that on. And when I tell you he fought for him. Because at different times, the sister and the dad, and they're both addicts, were mm. coming back and pulling him out. Yeah, that's hard. And this kid has such a stable life now because of him. That's He's so, awesome. so He works so like crazy. four fucking jobs. He's so selfless and lovely. And um, just shout out to that. So shout out amazing. to strong, incredible men. Yeah. And this is when I do stand up. And, you know, there's all these, you know, we're getting on another topic, but all these, you know, just you're here with us and these yep. people that are like, oh, gay people shouldn't be able to adopt. It's like, let me tell you something, honey. Yeah. <laughs> let me tell you something right yep. now. Um, I am very happy that that gay man adopted mm-hmm. that boy um, yep. and took him in because yeah. nobody was willing to do it. Mm. So if there's a kid in there in the system where they can be in a home with, yes. uh, with gay par- um, I'll, I mean, I'll parent, I'll take the home. A good parent, yeah. period. It's a good exactly. parent. You know what I mean? You know, it's like a good sexuality parent. has nothing to do with it. Nothing. If you're a good person, good parent, good anything. It's no. just... Right. Because no. there of are what plenty of straight people that should that not are the worst. Yeah, exactly. Hey, man, exactly. Lord. Yes, been wow. really bad. But thank you for calling Dakota. Back to the nipple. No, yeah, <laughs> just real quick. Love the segue. I don't want to spend too much time on it. And yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're doing what you're doing because you're pushing Thanks. the boundaries. You know what I mean? But I just think that, like, we just oversexualize everything yeah. so much. And it's well like, with women specifically. That's yes. what it always comes down to, especially with social media. It's always like. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh you're, po- you're popular. You're really popular. I, it's you guys. No, it's you. Hi, thank you for calling the Plus Size Divas. Who is calling? Hello? Turn your radio down. Hello? Hello? Okay, bye. <laughs> you got 15 <laughs> seconds, and then okay. we just go to the next topic. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. If anyway, you don't, oh, oh my gosh. Gone. Good Lord, have mercy. Hey, yeah. I want to shoot. Hi, thank you for calling the Plus Size Divas. Who's calling? Hey, it's Maddie. Maddie, that's my sister. <laughs> Maddie, is this the first time you've ever watched the show? Be honest. <laughs> That's a yes. Uh, well, <laughs> I usually work at night, so, you Aww, know. thanks for calling. I, I carved out some time to listen to you guys tonight, so I just want to give my sissy a shout-out. Right. Whoa, so sweet. Thanks for calling and watching and listening, finally. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Well, your, of course, sister's a, your sister's a big inspiration, so you're lucky to have her. Seriously. I know I am. I'm proud of her, so... Want to give you guys a shout out and let you know I'm listening. So keep up the good work. Thanks, Thanks Maddie. Maddie. Love you. Bye, Maddie. Okay, love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. 
How sweet. I think we oh should just gosh. have an all call How <laughs> funny. Right. This is so weird. Shit. We've never gotten calls like that back to back. Yeah. Damn. So, yeah. Cool. well, let's get off the nipple soapbox. I just say free the nipple. Hashtag Literally. free the nap- nipple. <laughs> Ladies, it. show it. And if they report your picture, oh, well. Show it again. Exactly. <laughs> Keep like, posting it. Seriously. Send it to me. I'll put it in my stories. So, I want to talk about how we met. Ooh. So we f- um, were chosen to be part of a um, segment for Jubilee Media called Middle Ground. And what they do is they pick um, three people from, you know, opposing sides of the table. So we were part of body positive versus fitness enthusiasts, which Ooh. I thought was hilarious yeah. when they called me and um said that that's what they were doing but nonetheless we filmed it and that's how we met and we sat in a like 120 degree room no joke (laughs) for 45 minutes i wore a lace shirt and gray shorts and by the time i left the gray shorts were now black ew like it was so bad it It was was so it was was a giant like warehouse in the middle of nowhere and it was 100 degrees outside i was was like this whole time like i can't move but you guys had to sweat sweat. we would be whispering each other being like just think really cool. Or like just blowing on you. <laughs> glacier. Seriously. Glacier, like in our photo shoot the other day. Glaciers. I have to. Oh but anyway, it was a really cool experience and not <laughs> just the fact that we met, but it, it was a great conversation and I want to share a little bit about it. Yeah. Um so we were I'm not gonna say like pitted against, but it was supposed to be kind of interesting with these yeah. fitness yeah. enthusiasts. Conflict. And one of my favorite questions always is, as um, you know, they asked one of the fitness guys asked, like, so to Troy, there's nothing you would change about your body, like in shock. And I was yeah. like, nope. <laughs> he was, and like, he was no. like, nothing. Yeah, <laughs> right. exactly. I mean, I mean like dramatic, that. but he was like, no. nothing. Like eyes wide, yeah. nothing. Right. And I was like, no. And then you step in, you're like, yeah, see, that's the thing. Not yeah, everybody not wants every to change their body. Every big person wants to be small, is mm-hmm. what I told him. And he's like, you wouldn't change anything. Not even the fact that you're <laughs> sitting there sweating profusely, which was, I was so like, rude. girl, it's 100 degrees in here. Everyone Everyone's was sweating. like, um, everyone's sweating. Somebody else oh is calling. Gosh, this Stay on the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, thanks for calling the Plus Size Divas. Who's calling? Yeah, for calling them. Wanted to know that this Layla J going to be coming on your show. I see her posted up in the left top team left corner i'm watching it oh I've she listened to her and I'm just watching her on spotify she's fantastic she isn't is. she she um she actually is our sponsor so unfortunately she's not on the show she sponsored the show we have been posting her music in all of our um promotional um materials and also we're going to play her song on the way out tonight but we really highly encourage you to buy her music on um apple music and spotify she's up there support her follow her on all social media she she is awesome and um, that's not to say she won't eventually she is, be on the she's show fantastic and she's She's beautiful as well. Oh, wow. yeah. you're wow. so sweet. She's a, she's, she must be. An, uh, she's a new up and coming star. I think yes. she's going to be wonderful. Yeah, I can't wait to buy her music when it comes out. Oh, she that's amazing. So so you're going to play her music during the show this evening? Yeah, we're going to play it on the and way it's out on tonight. Apple Music already. Yeah, you can go buy it right now oh, on fantastic. Apple Music. I can't. I can't wait to hear it. Awesome. Oh, so What's exciting. your name again? My name is Jim. Oh, Jim. Thanks so much. We'll thanks, tell her. Jim. I mean, she's probably Thank watching. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so you got right. it, Jim. I'll, I'll be watching tonight. Thank you so much. All right, honey. Bye bye. Okay, have a nice night. Bye bye. Oh, Damn. Damn. I love Damn. 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 slaying them yes. up there. Yes. Beautiful. She's beautiful. I mean, she is. She's beautiful. beautiful. Oh my goodness. All right, back to the nipple. Um, anyway. <laughs> 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 but no, it was funny because Darren was his name. Darren, Darren. was. Yeah. Like coming at me because I was sweating, <laughs> and he was like, "You don't think if you lost a little bit of weight, or if your body changed at all, you wouldn't be sweating so much?" And I'm like, "I don't know, but I don't care." And he, the best part was, by the end of it, he oh was wearing like a light purple shirt, and by the end of it, his shirt was a dark, dark, like, dark purple. There was not a he dry was spot on his shirt. He was yeah. sweating profusely, and I just was like, "Wait, what?" And then he walked down. He's like, "Wait, why did anyone tell me?" And yeah. I was like, "That's what you get That's for coming for the big get. people." Listen, I mean. I, if I was sitting there, I would have looked at him and been like, listen, I, I don't like this. I'd like it to be a way. I'm going to work on that. And I want to be my most healthy self. Um, and I, I you Which know, there's is, some, yeah. uh, you know, I'm a journey. There's, for sure. I and have that, little goals. And that's the whole thing. The whole thing is, like, it's all about what you want for you. Yes. And the thing that's surprising thing to him was that, like, I didn't want to change my body. Right. Like, I didn't right. want it to be different. I didn't I, want to look any different. Right. It's just, and it. I, I think that you can want to make changes and they have nothing to do with your outward appearance also. Yeah. I mean, I've, we just are so fixated on when someone says, is there anything you want to change about your body? I think 
like inside my body you know what i mean like yeah. i probably could drink a little bit less like right, my liver could probably right. be a little healthier but <laughs> i can't with you right now you just made yourself like you barely drink what is wrong with you you know I'm you just know saying like we always go to external sure, yes for sure and you know and you know what's funny for me like you know there are people out there like even we had a little problem on instagram that i had to you know i jumped in and defended a friend and um I realized how stupid it was afterwards because what I realized is that my whole life, people's insult to me has been like, oh, you're fat, or like, you know, now I'm 45, oh, you're old, or like, that'll be their insults. And I'm kind of like, dude, like, call me like non generous or disrespectful yeah, right. yeah. or not successful or yeah. um, not a go getter. That's going to insult yeah, me. For sure. Like, Telling me what I already know about myself, or yeah. telling me what I str- like that just makes you look like I a just walking. Don't like, yeah, go ahead. No, no, I was just gonna say when people come for you about your looks because they have not gotten to know anything about you as a person. So or they like, hate themselves. Right. Well, for, well I mean, if you're making yeah. fun of anybody, that's typically what the issue yeah. is. Yeah. But the, if someone's coming to you being like you're old or you're fat, it's kind of like okay, well. You clearly don't know anything about me I because like and, I, and yeah, <laughs> I'd rather you be like you're really dumb, like you don't know anything about this, yeah, or you don't. Yeah. I'm like okay, call fine. me unintelligent, right. call me you know, call me a bad mom, call me a bad wife, me. call me a bad friend. Do that. That way, I can come for you. That might that might <laughs> exactly. get me somewhere. I just but, don't go. I don't do any beef. I don't want people beefing under any of my pictures. If yeah. it happens, I'll typically block whoever started it, and I'll. I might even delete the other comments because yeah. I just don't like the negativity. Yeah. Like you're I'm still feeding negative I'm with, with negative. You but know he called I mean? our friend a hypocrite and didn't spell it right, so I had to point that out. <laughs> I was like, if you're gonna call somebody a hypocrite, <laughs> spell that. it and like he Google was totally exists. Like Literally. shaming her and then I went and it was Yeah, he shamed me and I was like, Whatever. Because he like, he f- act, he follows me and I was like, I find it very strange and, and sad that you follow somebody just to you know, start Talk shit. So either I he was like undercover so fat much. fetish, right? you know what them. I mean? Who knows right. what it was? Like I genuinely love them. Honestly, I'd be blocked. like mommy issues. Blocked. I want like yeah. I always say like it sounds so shitty, but like, I really want like real ones. Because I never yeah. get real trolls. My trolls are always like, Oh, gay. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Wait, they just write gay? <laughs> yeah, they write gay or like fag. Aww. And I'm like, okay. Or they'll be like Oh, you're me. You're girly. Oh my god! First <laughs> of all, none like, of these things are in. Are I know. Like, like legit. I turned off my like the filter on Instagram so that I could see if anyone actually puts like hate comments. So, like, I want something yeah. real. Like, give yeah. me something to work with. Because I like, I totally agree that if you, if the way you want to work it is like to to remove it, that's. I mean, that's your Only space. Only if it starts like for sure beef conversation. For me, I want like that to happen so that I can start a conversation with someone because yeah. I like the and my friend, my my one of my best friends is like super into coming back at the troll. She was one of the people who was going through the ones on that middle ground episode, like commenting oh, back at everybody, okay. which yeah. I was like, so I like when those conversations start so that I can try and like educate them, talk to someone. Yeah, yeah I want to because I feel like. Everyone who follows me are supportive and they like they get the vision, they yeah. get the message, they get the this, they get the best, they're supportive. So I'm always like, I want the people who don't get it. I want people who right. don't understand if it. If you're open to a conversation, for fine. sure. But if you're just like, fuck you, hundred hey, percent. I just realized it's right. like it, there's no point of this for on sure. my page. For I sure. just realized something. I'm wondering if LA Talk Radio is shaming us because it literally says fat channel is that for every show. <laughs> it or does. Just, I'm reading it, the screen. I think it's for every it show, but does. it's just kind of funny that it says fat <laughs> channel. And I'm like, wait, Hell yeah. wait, hold That's on, bitch. Nickname for the 7 p.m. slot Hell of Tuesday. Yes. Um, hey, I, I read something the other day, though, and remember how we had this discussion that I, I kept saying, like, I hate the word normal. I hate when somebody goes, that's not normal, or that's not normal, yeah. or that's not normal. And I saw something the other day, and I love it. Different is normal. Yeah. I yeah. love that. Now yeah. I'm okay with normal. If different is normal, different <coughs> is normal. To be different totally. is normal. Totally. I mean, well, what's I mean, what's normal? What's right. Yeah. But when people say right. that's not normal or oh, she's average size. What well, what the fuck does that mean? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, what's average? Yeah. A doctor's average? Or I love your straight average? size. I think that's always really a funny one too. Right. Straight you know. Size. Like who okay. who what what's the what's the scale that we're My looking crooked at? My crooked sky. Like, right. Like, right. Like, right. Like, it's so weird. <laughs> it's just. But, you funny. know, I agree. I think the term normal is like a very like. Come on. Yeah. But that brings us like to the topic that I really wanted to get into because I think it's like we have to start being more open and having these conversations and um, like the for me the importance of the blurred lines between masculinity, femininity, and like why it's important to talk about and why a lot of times it has nothing to do with um, you know your sexual orientation or gender identity. I yeah. mean, it's like why why do we even have what what why do we even have masculine and feminine yep. anymore? Well, um, I'll get to that. I'll, I'll tell you my 
position on that one second. But I, we said before, brought up something that I remembered reading yesterday. It was um, an article on Queerty about this guy in, I think it was Nigeria. Um, was He's the first ever, like, matchmaker in Nigeria. Oh, oh wow. And um, he, he put out a list of, like, the 14 signs that your man is gay. Oh, gosh. And I was reading these, and I was just li- literally laughing on the floor because the one was, like, legit was, like, if your man is too invested in your relationship and too caring of you, he's probably gay. Wow. And I'm like, wait, what? what? <laughs> oh my gosh. So my like, husband's gay. Yeah. So like, if, you're, if, you're, if your man doesn't have any um, guy friends of his own, he's probably gay. Oh. If your man doesn't want, or, if your man wants you to like try new things in the bedroom, he's gay. And I'm just, wow. I, I kept thinking like, whoa like yeah. this dude has like close to fifteen thousand followers I mean, he's just telling his followers <laughs> that if you have a man that's loyal and like cares about you and wants to be in a relationship right, and with you and like freaky in the bedroom yeah, he's gay he's gay and i was like whoa <laughs> show it's like, so that i mean that just ties right into the yeah. fact that these like gender norms have completely like fucked us all like we don't understand anymore like like just because i like i mean i have plenty of friends who are straight married have kids and they'll be like so they'll have like feminine qualities they'll like they'll talk about like how guys are attractive they'll t- I mean there's just so many things I'm just I never think like I mean, oh uh, maybe they're gay right like, I think yeah. like, I think we're especially the straight community like we're definitely all guilty of it like yeah Deanna <laughs> I'm good for it too but <laughs> she's like oh, everybody's oh, gay, oh, he's, gay. Concerned. <laughs> he's gay he's gay <laughs> he's gay he's gay and I'm like <laughs> maybe not though maybe he's actually just like a sensitive soul like mm-hmm. maybe yeah. Yeah. he's gay you know what I mean yeah. but yeah. I hate even like yeah. when I say it I'm like oh he seems like he might be but I'm well, like why am I say- why am I really why do we care that? actually that's what I was gonna say I think the yeah. different like so there's obviously the conversation about masculine and feminine but there's also the conversation about like why do we feel like we have to like beat someone to the punch? Mm. We gotta beat them to the point where they're saying I'm gay or I'm not right. gay. We feel like yeah. we have to like, and, and it's because we all want to. We all want to categorize. We all want to like yes. compartmentalize so that we understand who we are and how it reflects on us and how we reflect on them. I think it's just all mm. like that reciprocating like idea. But I mean, yeah, that was. I mean, that was a big reason why I was in the closet for so long. Was people kept saying to me, "You're gay, right?" And I was like, "Don't fucking tell me what I am. Like, right. I will Ooh. tell you when I'm ready." And yeah. like, don't. When keep, were you ready? I was 21. So I was like wow, later. Yeah, I was later for sure. Hmm. And I think it's because, I mean, a lot of factors, but one of them was definitely like, you know, people kept deciding for me. And I was like, mm. don't, I'm not, yeah. like, I don't, I, and the thing was, at that point, I was trying so hard to not like show any feminine traits and to show like, you know, very, that's I, out of the bag now, honey. <laughs> literally. Like, how free, like, though? Oh, oh my God, it was Somebody's insane. Somebody's calling. Oh my gosh, we're so popular. Hi, it's the plus size divas. Who's calling? Okay, hang up on me. Just Bye. kidding. It okay. always sounds like when they answer and the radio's still playing, it's like I know. somebody's some like, screaming in the background. Yeah. Like, you yeah. forgot my order! Like, it's like freaking <laughs> oh, out. No. That's us. Yeah. That is us. No, that's just us. Um, yeah. But no, I think... Uh, oh, yeah. I, I mean, I came out late, but I think a lot of the things that happened were, yeah, people just deciding for me, like, mm. who I was and, like, what I liked. And I was like, don't... It just was like a thing of, like cool good for you or, or when i did come out people would be like i knew i'm like oh my god good right. job oh I good mean, for you you knew it before i did like did so you, annoying That's but did really you annoying. question did you always kind of know or were you really like oh, oh no. yeah oh you know. i mean i think even when i had a high school girlfriend we were having sex i'd be like i wish this was a dude yeah. like i knew <laughs> like i knew i mean at that point i was still like yeah you know i was into dudes i had crushes on my like my brother's friends like things like that like, i knew i just think I could have I thought that it was normal I thought right. everyone liked everyone I thought everyone liked the other you know the same right. sex and all. I thought that was how it was so I was like oh I can live my life with like a wife but also like be into like guys and like yeah. want to do that too and, and then I realized quickly no. like that's just not how it works for me I mean you could I idolize women like I look at women and I think that's what I would do when I was in the closet like I would I was idolizing women and I was like just putting women on like this other level that I just was like, oh my God, there are these pow- there's so much power and like so much mm. like, oh my God, like I think women are the greatest things ever to exist. So to me, it was like, I think I was just <laughs> trying to make that fit into what yeah. I thought like love was. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then when I learned that that's not what love was, that was me like appreciating just women for what women are. Right. I was able to like kind of reconcile the idea like, oh no, 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 Troy, it's okay. Like you can yeah. love men yeah. and yeah. have sex with men, but also like, only fuck with women like only right. like only want to be around women all the time right 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 so it was like a process of like learning that and like what a crazy separating. process 
Yeah, it's pretty nuts. You were saying it's very free. It was, I think after that, when I came out, that's when I think like I hit the ground running with like my body positivity mm-hmm. like journey. Cause it was like, all my secrets are gone. So yeah. I guess like I can be whoever I want to be. I can do whatever I want to do. Like right. I can wear whatever I want to wear. Like all the years that I would like stifle my style or stifle like what I wanted to say or think or do or be around or whatever. Like, I guess I don't have yeah. to do that anymore. So yeah. I think it like helped me kind of like blossom and flourish. Yeah. And it was very freeing. Yeah. That's what, awesome. Where, what I like about not even just like as a, you know, as a gay male or even the gay community, like I think we have made strides where it's, there's not as many, the line is a little bit more blurred as yeah. far as like what you can wear can what you you know are what's more acceptable to wear as a woman or as a man Mm -hmm. but i think it's like it's so important because i have a lot of friends who you know how we how we see men oh men should be strong men should Mm be buff and be able to take care of the woman and a woman should be this that and the other but for men who aren't naturally built like that it's very intimidating and i just don't think it's fair i mean we don't see enough I'm I like thin men, skinny men, scrawny men, whatever you want to mm-hmm. see. Like we don't see it enough. Yeah. And um, I, I mean, mean, I think the, just the idea of what a strong man is, is like such an interesting concept to me. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm always like, bitch, if you knew the shit that I've been through and then I'm like sitting here and I'm like, <laughs> like a, like adjusted human being, yeah. Yeah. like you'd be, I mean, so it's like, to me, I'm always like, you can sit here and tell me all day long. Okay. Well, but you're afraid of getting your nails. Like, your hands in the dirt and I'm like I, yeah I don't like bugs is that a, it's not okay right. Right. so fucking what like right. I also like you know like lost my parents and all these so it's like you know mm-hmm. I, to me it's just kind of like the ideas that we apply to men and women as far as like what their roles need to be and should mm-hmm. be are just like so arbitrary at this point it's like we're no, no, no longer do we live in the society where like the man goes to work and he has to make all the money to bring not home the food all. for the woman and it's like that doesn't it doesn't exist anymore so it's no. like the man of the house role is like that's actually a big pet peeve of mine is when I see like my guy friends telling their sons like okay I'm gone now so you have to be the man of the house yeah. and you have to take care of mommy right. and I'm like uh, how about nah right. how about your seven year old can be the seven year old of the house <laughs> like that's not like so yeah. we teach kids yeah. like a young age like do. don't cry don't do that. Mm-hmm. boy specifically we, we, we instill this like toxic masculinity from like the earliest time right that we can begin, which is the idea of like, don't cry. Like right. crying is for girls. Yeah. You're not a little girl, right? So it's like, ah, it's like really yikes. It's like, it's so frustrating because it starts so young and it's like this mentality that we'd have to change as adults, which is like, it's, it's with anything. It takes so long to get like those processes. It's a moving. lot of work. Yeah. What I sure. see is um, like in in the gay community, it's, it's, it's more accepting like yeah. to be free and you know, do whatever you want as far as like, wearing but i want that to start trickling down to yeah calling all men i wonder if it's jim hi thanks for calling the plus size divas who's calling hey uh this is uh jt from miami florida hi jt how are you i'm good um how are you guys doing today awesome that's where i'm from oh you're from miami mm-hmm. oh mm-hmm. our guest is from miami that's so cool <laughs> Oh, that's lit. That's awesome. <laughs> I was just wondering, are you guys going to be playing more Layla J tonight? We are Damn. going to <laughs> We are going to be playing her like at, on the way out of the show. We're going to be playing her um her song What You Gonna Do. So, yes, we will. Okay, well, I, I'm definitely like digging your show right now. It's oh, very thank awesome. you so much. Oh, thank you for watching and we'll be playing it soon. Make sure you check out her music on Spotify and uh, Apple Music. Oh, yeah, I follow her on everything. I'm a super fan. (laughs) Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, sweetheart. Thanks for calling. Thanks. Bye-bye. Shit, I got to listen right Right now. now. Her fans go hard for her. Damn. Layla Jade, official follow our girl, our sponsor this week. She is getting the love. I love it. We might have to end a little early so I can get the whole song, and if not, people are going to Literally, you better should. (laughs) No, but but, but back to what you guys were saying, though. It's, It's, I've been... Very programmed, I will yeah. admittedly tell you. Yeah. Um, uh, throughout my life, kind of like this is normal, this isn't normal, this is this, this isn't this. You know, and there's and listen, yeah. you know, um, there's old school and there's new school, and you have to undo your thinking. And totally. you know, she has seen me kind of. I used to be that girl that was like saw a big girl in an outfit and be like, Mm-mm, she mm. shouldn't be wearing that, and that's not me anymore. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm 
the girl that probably people are going, Mm-mm, she shouldn't be wearing that. <laughs> um, <laughs> not to the extent that our friend Carmen does, because she's just but on a whole other level. But, but yeah, we think that. Like, I mean, you do keep saying like it's within the gay community, it's more free, and it, and it is more free. But it's like. Y'all are judgy wedgy no, bears, though. Really right? Yeah, so correct yeah. me. There's so much, like, I mean, you go on these gay dating apps, and it's like, no fats, no femmes, no blacks, no Asians. Oh, like, yeah. I mean, it's really intense. And, like, wow. it's, it's funny. I've been telling a lot of my friends lately about this because it's, like, a real, it's a real thing. Like, it is. Yeah. There's, there's really stuff, like, I mean, it's almost, and, and people don't realize, I mean, sexual assault happens so often mm. in the gay community and it happens because of misogyny and like toxic masculinity and these ideas of like yep. you know what a real man is and like oh you it can't be the r word if it's a dude on a dude there's no way that could wow, be rape no. like it's yeah. so it's like it definitely trickles in and that's obviously the scary route that like right. toxic masculinity takes is towards the route of like sexual assault but like right even at its very like basis level like basic level it's like yeah the idea of putting no fats no femmes that's the idea crazy. of just just take out the wow. fat no femmes in your profile is like Hold on, we have a call. Oh, like what? Hold on, no yeah. femmes. <laughs> Hi, thanks Wait, for calling the plus. <laughs> thanks for calling the plus size divas. Who's calling? Hello, uh, this is Daniel from uh, Orlando, Florida. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I love your show, by the way. It's so awesome, and I I, I watch it all the time. It's just really? amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Are you a Layla Jade fan? Tell the truth. Absolutely, yes. Yes, she is good. The uprising star, and it's so exciting, and I can't wait to hear more music and see her music video too. Like, I just can't wait. Yay! We yeah, can't us wait too. Hey, we're so it's happy. Me, Layla. No, stop. Um. He's being a jerk. He's being yeah, a jerk. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're gonna play it at the end of the show. Okay, honey. Um, you are so. I had to. You are such a fool, <laughs> Layla. Let me. Her. her no fans go. I know, oh, girl. seriously, girl. Can and your fans be our fans now? Too? No, seriously. Go listen, to I love it. Go, the hey, show. go subscribe to our YouTube channel. No, I'm kidding. Um, listen, but I wanted to say he's. I mean, I have a lot of gay friends, yeah. and I, I have to tell you, like, it's like y'all can be catty and mean mm-hmm. as fuck. So I think I think what you're saying is that it seems that like you guys, you you know, you're here with blue nail polish yeah. and pink glasses totally. and feminist as fuck and like in there are gay people in the community that are very free for sure and express themselves and do not give a fuck there's that mm-hmm. but you guys are a club there's also and the masculine guys who are like the reason why they're so i mean they're like extra yeah masculine because they're combating the idea that if you're gay you're weak you're right. feminine you're th- it's like they don't want to be called fag they don't do be not call fag. them exactly fag. so it's like yeah. there's a there's like the uh, you know the complete extreme of it too. So yes. it is. I mean, it's it's something that is effective of uh, to every yeah. community. Yeah, yeah. I think you just see more queer people I, who are like listen definitely. And I'm just know. saying it'd be nice like for that to. I I just want people, men specifically, young kids, young boys coming up who don't necessarily fit into, you know, one this crazy standard of beauty that we have for men mm-hmm. either to yeah. feel comfortable whatever their sexual orientation is. Yep. You know, there's a lot of straight men who want to, you know, wear nail polish and or, you know, dye their hair. I don't know. Just being crazy. But they don't because they feel like they're going to be judged. And it just it's very upsetting to me. Yeah. We have another caller. And it's from the 954. You just just burped in the the microphone. Hey, it's the Plus Size Divas. Thanks for calling in. Who's who's on the line? Hi, um, this is Lisa from Tampa, Florida. Hey, Lisa, how are you? (laughs) I'm good. How are you? Really wonderful. How you doing? Do you have a, a, a question for us, or? Um, yes, I'm actually um, a Layla Jade fan. Oh my God, we have a lot calling in. I love your show. Yo, that's awesome. And I'm so excited that she's on there. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Yeah. We're really excited. We're really happy that she sponsored us, and we've been pushing her music and telling people to follow her. So we're going to be playing her. Yeah, we're going to be playing her single in like like literally probably a minute. <laughs> Really? Oh, great. Yes. Awesome. Stay tuned in. It's coming right up. Okay, I sure will. Thank you, Thanks, Lisa. Thanks, sweetie. Thank you. So here's the thing real quick <laughs> as we segue back. <laughs> Layla Jade is a gangster. Um, number one, Layla Jade is a gangster. Literally. Number two, like, 
I think it's a human thing because like I again have a lot of African American friends and even in yep. that community you're too light. Ooh, you're not black yeah. or you're you know that whole thing and in and in society like oh she's a pretty black girl cuz she's mm-hmm. light skinned and has the Becky with the good hair or whatever. It's yep. just like it ha- it's it's, it's a human all of it's, it's just gross. It's a human mm-hmm. thing but that's why we're here. We're here to be yep. like hey guess what? Love you. You're right. a masterpiece. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Love everybody right. around you. Drop the f and judgments. Yep. Drop the bullshit. Drop what you think somebody else should be doing and just like love on each other yeah. yes. and let's God. just Stop, Lord. Um, Seriously. But with that, I got to play a little yeah, Jane single before Wait, I get like. We have, do it. we have to stop now? No. But no. listen, we have some things to talk about. Oh. So next week, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Already? We're next done? Next week? Yeah, we're done. The show ends. Oh, my God. How four minutes. Okay, but we have a lot to talk about before we end. Hold on. We'll, Troy, ooh. can you just come back? Ooh. I feel like we didn't just talk about anything. Of Real quickly, Troy, tell everybody again where they can follow you. And what's oh. coming up for what's you. What's coming up for you. Oh, my gosh. Um, at a bear named Troy. Everywhere. I'm everywhere. on there everywhere. Um. What's coming up for me? A lot. Yes. But I can't say. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's not one of those, like, I have so much going on and I can't say. I genuinely can't say. Okay. It's okay. But, but follow him so things. you can okay. follow him so you can be involved. He's yeah. definitely getting married. I'm definitely going to help him I'm with his wedding. Definitely married. Married. Let's show off our rings. Like I got new rings. He got a ring. We're backup like, bridesmaids. <laughs> we're, <Yes. laughs> we're backup <laughs> bridesmaids. And, um, but definitely follow him. Thank you so much for being our guest this week. Thank you for having me. Oh, really, really. We do need more time. We're we gonna do. we're gonna be looking out for your masterpiece challenge. Yes, seriously, oh my God, yeah. do that. Post it. Tag two people. Encourage people to love themselves. Yes. And um, next week, you guys, honestly. I'm real. I feel really lucky that we have had such epic guests. Yes. Like we're always like our guests are so amazing this week. And, and they're deep. They really and we can have good conversations. Um, next week, I'm not even kidding. Um, he was on X Factor. He is probably one of the most bright, inspiring human beings I've ever met in my life. If you don't tune in next week, you are gonna miss the perspective of your life because Whoa. this kid will walk in a room and you'll be like, oh my god, and you'll you'll be like oh my god like this kid and and then he just he flips it on you and he's like i'm the greatest thing that ever walked what are you talking and you're like holy crap and you're like i like whatever's going on in your life just dissolves and you have such a i'm just you have to tune in you don't know what i'm talking about but you have to tune in so next week we have emmanuel kelly from x factor that's going to be on the show and